If you want, it's Emily Fox. Today's video is going to be my May favorite. So I'm going to be sharing with you the beauty products that I have been enjoying. And then one thing I really didn't enjoy this month. This month I was continuing my drugstore series going through all the best slash my favorite products at the drugstore for each categories. And this month I was doing my favorite drugstore foundations. I did a 10 days of wear test and then at the end I did a wrap up. I'll link that down below if you haven't seen it. And then some of these foundations were newer to me and I fell in love with them so so much. Catrice, which I'm actually wearing right now. This is the HD liquid coverage foundation. I am in love with this. Uh, this gave me medium to full coverage. It looks like skin. It looks amazing on the skin. It kind of has a natural matte finish that controls my oils but also doesn't emphasize the dehydration on my nose. This is literally magic. Uh, my only complaint about it is the fact that the color Rose Beige 20, which is the second lightest shade, is my summer shade. So they have 16 shades, but if you have really fair skin, you're gonna struggle to try and find a shade. But uh, summer, I will be wearing you every single day because this is magic. I, I just really, really like this. Again, I will link down below the video where I wear it and I go in front of the window and I do like super close up so you can see the texture of my skin, but oh, so good. I have a few products that I picked up during the Sephora VIB sale and I've been testing obviously since then and then I just need to rave about them because they're that good. First off, Fenty Beauty Bronzer. Everyone was right. The, the raving reviews were right. The hype was real. I, I have the shade in the sun and I'm actually wearing it today. I've been wearing this pretty much every single day ever since I got it because it is so freaking good. It's such a natural color on me. I feel like very often lighter bronzers will tend to be uh, too orange or red or way too dark or they're not matte or they're just very yellow and this one is a straight up very very light brown. Straight up brown. It's not too orange, it's not too cool tone, it's not a like contour color. Although if you have very warm skin you could probably use this to contour but I kind of just never do that. I kind of just apply it kind of in between contour and bronzing places on my face kind of all in one and it works so nicely and what I like is that it blends so nicely like literally you can't tell where you're starting and ending it just looks perfect and I've been really really enjoying it obviously happy to uh, I've spent my money on it because it was totally worth it I can't recommend this enough honestly if you were looking at it I say totally worth it another product that I have been enjoying is discover effects concealer this is the power play concealer I have the shade PL P light one and it is light for me. I've been considering exchanging it, but I really like it and I feel like I will use it during the winter. The only thing is I can't set it with powder. So basically what I'll do is that I apply it, I let it dry while I do the rest of my makeup, and then I go back and just make sure everything is blended because obviously any concealer will go into any lines, right? But uh, once I do go back and uh, set it in place with my fingers, it just doesn't move. It stays all day, it doesn't look dry, it gives me super great coverage. I love it. I know a few people were mentioning that uh, the packaging makes it get dirty very fast, which I haven't had that issue yet. Uh, I can kind of tell that it will though, like when you put it back, I feel like it's very easy to have like product go everywhere. But again, I don't have that issue yet. Uh, the applicator is a little weird, like it's a little bit of a round ball, I guess, at the end of it. So it kind of is hard to get in the middle of like inner corner and everything, but honestly, I just really enjoy it. I've been using it daily and just... It works great. I think it was worth the money for me because so many under eye concealers tend to be too drying and then when they don't uh, dry out my under eyes, they're not enough coverage for whenever I want to go for that full coverage. This is like a great solution for it. I could not not mention this because during my Sephora VIB haul, I like just washed it in my hand for the first time and it was full on my <laughs> genuine first impression and I, was, I just couldn't deal with it. My brain literally stopped working for a second and... <laughs> I still can't get over it. This is the Violet Voss. I believe the full name is like Glitter Top or something. And the shade that I have, which again is not on the packaging, this is really annoying. I'll put all the name and everything down below, but every time I swatch it, I'm like, yes, I can't deal. Like it's so freaking magical. These are supposed to be like a glitter topper, right? So you're supposed to apply them on top of a different eyeshadow. Personally, I feel like this shade doesn't need it. Look, it's pink, green, pink, green. It's, it's just amazing, honestly. These are actually way cheaper than other brands too that are at Sephora that have those type of like glitter and glow <laughs> liquid eyeshadows. And this color is super unique too. Honestly, I, I love it. Like, look at this. Uh, I loved it so much that even though they're limited edition and I usually don't like limited edition product, I went ahead and bought a second one. Just gonna say, honestly, if you're looking for more, I 
can't recommend these enough. Totally recommend like hurrying up and getting some. Uh, so I decided to get this other color, which is like a champagne that seemed to have like holographic glitter in here. And the other one I feel like is more like of a shadow with some glitter. This one is definitely glitter, so it does uh, look better whenever you apply it on top of something else. But I've definitely used it on its own with no issues. And it's also really pretty. This one is not like as duochrome. It's I feel like it's better in person. You can really tell that it has like those holographic uh, glitter in there. But both of them were absolutely worth the money. I have been using them and I will continue to do so. If you're on the market for more, these two I do think they're worth the money. I feel like sometimes uh, some of the most neutral shades, I'll, I'll do a video on that very soon. Uh, I feel like sometimes those might not be as worth it because you can find dupes that are more affordable, but things that are more unique, I do think they are worth the splurge. I fell in love with these last month, the NYX lip oils, and I decided to get more shades and obviously finally got them, and I have been adoring these. The light pink one is perfect for like every day. This is the shade uh, number one. These are like just super comfortable. They add a little bit of color, but they're like a, it's better than gloss for me because like I feel like gloss aren't necessarily moisturizing. These are and they give you a little bit of color. So that was a light pink one. And then I decided to get the lavender color because why not? Uh, this is the shade 03 and this is so freaking cool. Honestly, like it doesn't look that crazy because like obviously when I swatch it, it's barely, you can see it's barely kind of lilac-y blue. But uh, you give them like a second. At first I feel like they're a little milky, which is not uh, something I enjoy. But you give them a minute and they really start like melting into your own lips and it's just a really amazing gloss. And it's not crazy blue, it's very wearable. But whenever I'm wearing like a blue or like purple eyeshadow look, which I actually did do uh, one early this year if you're looking for like a spring, like a fairy look. And I feel like this would be perfect with it. It's just so pretty and honestly like, low maintenance. I've been really enjoying these. Definitely recommend them. They don't even have a crazy scent. It's kind of like light fruity sugary, but it's not super intense. I really have to like put my nose to really smell it. One more lip product. I haven't talked about these yet. These are the Too Faced uh, Peach Puff Diffused Matte Lip Color. I did film a video where I was wearing it against the NYX Puff Lippy, whatever they're called, and I don't really think they're like exact dupes. I never posted a video. Let me know if you're still interested. Uh, but I felt like, you know how sometimes I'll do like those type of half-half because they're exact dupes. Sometimes it's just two do two at the same time, right? And usually I feel like drugstore are just as good more often than not than the dupe I'm looking at. But I feel like this one is actually worth the money because it really stains your lips and it stays. Like it literally stays all day. I have the shade Boy Bye, which totally got it because it's lame. What happens is you apply it to your lips and you can build up the color to make it darker and more bright. But what I like is that it becomes your lips. Like your lips are that shade. Like I can eat, I can drink, and that might be a bit of transfer, but eventually it's just the color of your lips. It doesn't look like you're wearing anything and it's like your lips are better. I really like this and I will definitely be looking at more shades to try and find something that might be more summery than this one. Cause it's still a really nice color, but it's not necessarily summer. It might be more like fall-ish color. But yeah, it does have a scent to it. I, I always say it's tropical scent, but I believe it's like um, fig and something. But yeah. I like this. I, I gave it my seal of approval. <laughs> oh, and also a uh, shout out to these earrings that I've been wearing nonstop that are like a dollar. Fell in love with these. I got these on uh, Shein and they were totally worth the money. They often have sales too for their like jewelry. I would definitely recommend checking out the website. Oh, and if anyone is wondering, my lipstick is from MAC. This is the color Yash, which I will never get over that name. From where I'm from, basically Yash means like yuck, like disgusting, like yuck. <laughs> Yash. Anyway, uh, always makes me laugh, but it's such a nice color. I just finished filming my MAC lipstick collection. So uh, it's coming in June. I'm very excited about it. But by re swatching all of them like that in a row, I feel like I discovered new shades that I fell in love with all over again. I feel like it's kind of cyc cyc cyclical. <laughs> We used to be really into like really light nudes and then it's becoming more darker ones and now it's like kind of medium ones and this one is definitely going to be on my table for a while because I'm going to be wearing the crap out of it. So yeah, keep an eye out, it's coming. Now let me talk about something I really didn't like. Uh, I was really shocked because Charlotte Tilbury. So far a few products that I've tried from them were amazing. I think they are more expensive but they were worth it. And then I tried these lip glosses which um, I especially like this color, which is um, Belle Soir, and it's such a nice nude color. 
Uh, the applicator is great. It's incredibly soft. The pigmentation is really there. It seems like a very long wearing lip glosses, lip gloss. And I say seam because I could not wear it for more than like five seconds because... Wow. Every single time I cringe so hard. I can't help it. It's so bad. Like, I don't know who decided, yeah, we should make our lip glosses smell like patchouli or something. It's so disgusting, honestly. I'm not even difficult with like lip product scent. Usually it's vanilla or fruits or something and sometimes they're quite strong. I don't really mind. But this is just such a bad scent. I, I don't get it. I don't get it. So um, I would highly recommend smelling them in store if you can before even thinking about getting these because I can't. I can't. I. It's really that bad. I totally forgot to mention something. I have been adoring, and I mean adoring, this coat that I got on YesStyle. I will link the video down below. I had done a fashion haul video. I was trying a bunch of products from there and uh, letting you know which ones were worth it or not, right? And this, I am telling you, was so worth the money. I love it. Uh, you would think May would have been warm, but no. I feel like we had a couple days and then it would went back to being very cold. And this is such a nice, like, corduroy uh, coat. It's a little short, a little, like, oversized, and it looks amazing, and it's so comfortable. Like, you can see, this is, like, so freaking soft. It feels like a pillow, and I want to feel like I'm walking around in a pillow, right? And, yeah, I have been absolutely adoring this. I think this was totally worth the money, and I can't wait for fall to come back just so I can wear it again. That's a huge statement because I'm definitely a summer person, but this was so great. There are a few more products I wanted to talk about, but I'm planning on doing a, like, summer must-haves, and I don't want to repeat myself, so I will keep those products for this upcoming video next month. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section if you have any favorites that you would like to share. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe because you definitely don't want to miss all the videos I've mentioned that are coming. I have so many good videos coming for you guys and I will be putting some on the screen that I recommend you check out and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.